Hey everyone, welcome back to Soda Chat. You know what this sign means. I just got back from North Carolina and hey, Remix is back. All right, they're not really the remixes, but let's see if they hold up. So yeah, guys, holy cow, did I really dish them out for you in this episode. Yeah, so <laughs> other than the sprites, everything that you see here came from Crackle Barrels along the way, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. So yeah, we have the Shirley Temple that was supposed to be in the last video that kind of was forgotten about. We have another Sioux City. We got some root beer, double cola. Oh, we got the infamous Moxie. Yeah. I will say that I've had this before. It's been 10 years. I didn't like it then. Let's see if I like it now. Moxie is an interesting drink. We'll get to that in a little bit. But yeah, I mean, oh, and we have a Whirly Pop soda. We got a cotton candy. A lot of the sweet ones. So, and a lemon lime. And a, I am so sorry. Key lime. So yeah, we've got a lot to go through, guys. Let's get started. All right, so starting everything off, we have the Cotton Candy Soda Pop by Kissed. Uh, well, um, this is just one of the generic sodas that I found. Was it interesting looking? Not really. And the, uh, the uh, illustrations on here, just a normal little cotton candy. The pink itself is very light. So it's either just going to be pure sugar water or maybe just a very nasty hint of strawberry. Who knows? There really isn't anything on here that's worth mentioning, guys, other than made in Michigan. Oh, and it just says cotton candy on the label. But let's pop her open. Automatically, I mean, I can smell it. Um, it's got a very strawberry smell, but up close it's, yeah, it's a very light strawberry scent. It's, um, maybe decent cotton candy. Yeah, maybe, yeah, I can actually now smell it. It does smell like cotton candy. Well, oh, bottoms up. I actually like it. It's not overpowering. It's doesn't have a nasty aftertaste. And it holds something on the tongue, which is very interesting because if you had cotton candy, when it melts, it, it lingers on the tongue. And this does that. I mean, I actually really like this. Oh, yeah. That's good. I would really get more of those. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's just like drinking liquid co cotton candy. Um, is it reminding me maybe of the liquefied Skittles and the Voodoo? No, it's it's its own thing. I, I actually, I have no complaints about it. Other than, you know, spruce up the bottle a little bit. But yeah, I'd definitely buy this. Um, guys, um, I, I like I said, these are mostly at Cracker Barrel, and I've, I've seen these a lot at Crackle Barrel, so especially in the southern states, I mean, I don't know how they are across the nation, but yeah, you will definitely see this one if you visit there, so I would definitely give this a try. It is good. But let's move on, guys. All right, this is good. Starting off, good. All right, next up, we have the Shirley Temple Soda Pop, Hollywood's original. Uh, I actually do like the illustration on this. I do like the, the pink and the blue. I guess you'd call that teal, maybe, uh, hot pink and teal. I do like the the cup illustration on this. I mean, for what it is, it's it's not bad. Is it the greatest? No. But this is something I would definitely like to see in something like this, where it actually looks like it's a drink from the 50s. I mean, the bottle could be spruced up a little bit more, but I mean, I'm not upset with the illustrations here. Um, again, like the last one, there's really nothing on here that gives any other anything about it really it just says 100 percent caffeine free very low sodium so all right well, let's give it a try guys yeah this is the one that i actually forgot for the last soda chat so. hmm It smells familiar. I'm trying to think of what it what it smells like. 
I mean, it smells good. It's not like sickly sweet smell. I just can't identify it. It's like a raspberry cherry type of thing. All right. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, yeah, I'm trying to figure this one out. Um, I, I neither like it nor dislike it. It There was a restaurant a long time ago in, in this town, High Springs, that's close to my hometown. And uh, they used to have a diner that I think used to make Shirley Temples. This just tastes like a lime ricky, but like a really cheap lime ricky. It just tastes like Sprite and Grenadine. I don't hate it. I mean, I probably wouldn't get it again. It's just, it's not blowing me away. Um, I mean, it's all right. It's it's just something that, I mean, if you like Shirley Temple, maybe you just don't like Shirley Temple. So if this was actually Lime Ricky, maybe it would make a little more sense. But yeah, I, I just don't know what to make of this one. So... I mean, hey, if you like Shirley Temples, I definitely get this. But let's move on. All right, the Whirly Pop Soda, and this is the Sweet Strawberry. Now, I really have high hopes for this one because the last Whirly Pop, which I'm now seeing everywhere, even in Publix, um, which was probably one of, was a really, really good soda. Now, as you know, I am not a fan of strawberry soda, so this could go really sour. Not the drink, but I mean just my taste buds. So just like the other one, it's just that old time lollipop. Uh, that's about it. So that's going to really hurt them in the long runs. But hey, you never know. It might actually be one of the best. Maybe it'll be the regular soda, uh, whirly pop one. But let's pop the top. I don't know why I said that. Uh, I knew it. Yeah, it's got a medicinal smell to it. Maybe it's because I just don't like artificial strawberry. Maybe I'm always thinking that this smells like, like cough syrup. And it's got that really fake strawberry smell. But if that's, I mean, that's what you're going to get with soda. So bottoms up. All right, the first taste had that medicinal cough syrup. It's not heavy. It's not like dad's soda where it it was so thick on the tongue that it just made you want to gag because your, 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 your gag reflex is like, oh, this is medicine. I don't want this. I'm supposed to be drinking soda. This is not heavy. It's very smooth, but it's got that cough syrup flavor to it. It mellows out and then it lingers and then you do have a very nice but subtle strawberry flavor at the end yeah I don't really care for this one um it's a meh to me I mean like I said only the the ending flavor isn't bad yeah I'm, I'm just not I'm not interested in this one this one is it's not my thing but if you're into strawberry soda, this is definitely one you want to try. Let's move on. All right. Well, here's a one. Here's a new one for for me uh, that I've never seen before, and I think my dad probably would have liked this. This is the Sioux City Cream Soda. So the last one we did, we did the sarsaparilla, which I did not care for, and uh, yeah, my mom didn't like it either. So it kind of unfortunately got pitched. So. Yeah, so the cream soda Sioux City. I mean, like, still, nobody can carry the cherry one. It is what it is. And the animation still, the, the illustration still the same, guys. You got the cowboy, which was the other one, which was the sarsaparilla, which was the saloon door opening. This one is him riding on a horse, uh, made with real cane sugar. And that's about it. That, that's still it. It's a, you know, it is what it is. It's disappointing. I mean, you, you might give me a lot of a lot of guff if you watch the one with the rat bastard soda. Why did I like that one so much? It was so bland. There was really nothing on it. Well, it's it's creative because it was bland, but you had this great name to it. With this, I mean, yes, it looks old-fashioned, and even the 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 label itself feels old. 
I don't know if that's good or not. But it's okay. It really is. And I'm, I'm spoiled because of the Mountain Dew illustrations, which is really one of the reasons I got into doing Soda Chat. But, yeah, so let's pop this one and see how it tastes. I mean, I'm not a cream soda person. My dad was the cream soda person. But maybe it'll grow on me. Oh, very fizzy head. Now that smells like a cream soda. Um, like a Stewart's cream soda, which I've only had once and I was really young, but I can still remember that smell. Yeah, it just smells like cream soda. Uh, the color itself is a lot darker than a regular cream soda, which is interesting. It almost, I know from the camera angle, it may look like root beer, but it, it, it's, it's a darker shade. Usually cream sodas are lighter, almost golden, and this is more bronze. Right, let's see how it tastes. Ooh, that's good. That is smooth. Um, okay, big, big points on this. Usually with some cream sodas, it kind of punches you in the face and then mellows. This just has a beautiful mellow tone to it. It's almost like it's trying to be cola, but it, it's got a very wispy vanilla flavor to it. And I don't know, should it be called vanilla cream soda? I don't know. It's it's good. In fact, it's really good. I'm a little disappointed that I just didn't get two of these because I have not seen these in Florida. So if you guys are in Georgia, definitely get these. Um, especially if you, move, if you go out towards Tennessee or Alabama, Kentucky, they'll probably definitely have these. But yeah, um, I'm very annoyed with myself that I didn't get another one of these. That is so good. I, 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 yeah, it's just that smooth vanilla flavor. And it's not, it's not cola. It's trying to be cola, but then it's not root beer. So this by itself is its own soda. And I am, I am completely blown back by how great this is. And yeah, I, I, if I go back up to Asheville again, which is where I went, um, I didn't get these in Asheville. I got these in Tifton, Georgia, which is pretty much after you get out of Florida and uh, a little bit past Valdosta. It's not halfway, believe me. I, I've been stuck in a car, and I mean, Georgia's huge. But yeah, definitely try the Sioux City Cream Soda. I think you'll absolutely love it. Um, definitely one I'll be picking up again. Well, let's move on. All right. Oh, so lemon key lime soda. Oh, so good. <sighs> okay, so there's absolutely nothing to talk about on this. It it's just key limes, the label. Oh, so good. Please recycle. Since 19 19- 46. Alright, well, th that's pretty much it, so it's going to get a lot of uh, uh, points taken off or pretty much nothing, but you, know, you never know. I've never had a key lime soda. I think we've done lime on this show before, so... Well, it just smells like lemon lime. I mean, I mean, somebody that's lived in the in Florida. I mean, like key lime has a very unique smell. It's more, it's a lot more pungent than its regular counterparts. But this just smells like lemon lime. Bottoms up. All right then. Well. The flavor is definitely trying to be key lime. It's not that sour. In fact, it's not making my eyeballs roll up into my head, which I kind of wanted for a soda that's called key lime. Um, it just tastes like a budget key lime pie. And I mean by that, that my tongue and my brain are trying to piece together what it's drinking. So it's it's like I can I can 
falsely taste graham cracker and the whip topping. It's not bad. I think this would be better as a mixer for some stuff. But as a regular soda, I could not think what this would go with. I mean, we can, I, I can't imagine myself having chicken and fried chicken in this or having a big steak dinner with this. I mean, just more than likely, more like a, a setting at a bar. You know, you just mix some of this with, I don't know, gin or something. I mean, you could probably just make a sour out of this and it would be fine. Otherwise, um, it's okay. Uh, like I said, if it's a real key lime soda, I want it to completely blow my palate away. I want it to be so sour that that I am going, mmm, damn. But it doesn't. So it kind of falls flat. So nice try, oh so. Um, yeah, I would definitely do some more research. And you can find some really, really strong key limes. But, hey, eh, that's on you guys. Let's move on. All right, so we have our first root beer of this video. This is the Pearson, Pearson Brothers 1896 root beer, number six, natural soda, and it does say number six. Uh, made with real cane sugar. Yeah, they keep mentioning this number six. I wonder if this means that this was their six experimentation. Now, at Cracker Barrel, there were two types. They had root beer with no number, and then they had this one. And I tried to make sure it wasn't a diet one, but, yeah, the, the, kind of wish the, the companies would, you know, talk about themselves. We haven't really had a, a blurb about any of these companies for a while. I think, I think since that ginger ale, a late one. But, yeah, I mean, it's made in Canada... And that's it. The bottle's small, but it's fat. So, all right, let's give it a try. Ooh, definitely smell that root beer. That that was a very quick passage up the nostril. And even far away, as, as sitting far back, you can smell this. Hmm. Yeah. With root beer like this, you're going to smell anise or licorice. It's a strange smell. Mm, moving it around a little bit. It's not reminding me of root beer. I mean, it just smells like really expensive root beer. But, you know, the only expensive root beer I like is the Old Dominion. But let's try it. Ooh. Oh, no. What the hell? Okay. Whew. That first sip is horrid. It's... It was like drinking liquid licorice. And then it vanished. And it's one of these strange sodas that we encountered last time. That you had this strong flavor and then it's gone. Ugh, I really don't want to do this again, but... See, that one wasn't so bad. I don't, I don't understand. And that one's just as bad. So, yeah, it just tastes like licorice. There's some vanilla traces in it. I don't like it. And now I've got a little bit of a lingering aftertaste. And it's more of anise, the aftertaste, than regular licorice. <sighs> yeah, I don't like this. I don't. I don't. I kind of wish I had gotten both of the uh, the both different kinds to compare the two. I don't like this. Yeah, no, I, I don't. I mean, as root beers go, I guess certain people like their way their root beer is made. And now I'm getting vanilla, so that's all I'm now tasting as the as, as the aftertaste. So. Yeah, I, it's not my favorite. I'd definitely not invest in this one again. But I guess 
you guys in Canada like this type of stuff, so I'm just going to move on. I'm, I'm, no, I'm not going to get this again. All right, the Double Cola. And it's definitely one of these advertisements that you see a lot in Cracker Barrel and these old type of diners. Enjoy Double Cola made with real sugar. It's under the authority of the Double Cola Company in Chattanooga, Tennessee. No refill. Very low sodium. Well, um, I'm going to give it that since it's a very older kind of soda. It's got its font still the same. It's not wowing me, but I've been wanting to try it for a while. So, let's see. That one's got a big head on it, too. It kind of smells like an RC Cola. It's weak Coke smell. Man, I'm just getting like RC Cola vibes. Bottoms up. It's just a weak soda, guys. It's just a weak cola. It's not hitting me with any flavors. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm not. I'm not thrilled with it. It's. It's more disappointing. I kind of expected more from it. Uh, it did I think it was going to be Dr Pepper like? No. Yeah, it's. It's just a really weak soda. That's all that that is. And for something called double cola, you would think that maybe its flavor would be maximized or something, but it's not. It's actually the opposite. It's just, it's not flat. It's just the flavor's flat, but it is what it is. It is an older soda, so double cola, I'm not going to get you again, but hey, we finally mentioned you on the show, so let's move on. All right, so we're finally going to review Moxie, and... There's a couple of reasons why I have not reviewed Moxie. You can find these just about anywhere except for gas stations and convenience stores. If you go to like health food stores, like Fresh Market, I don't think they're at Trader Joe's, but definitely Fresh Market carries these things. Um, Crackle Barrel does carry them. And the reason I have not touched Moxie, because it's been over 10 years since I've actually tried it, and if a lot of you that probably were introduced to Moxie and probably never heard of this stuff was because of a show on Food Network called Unwrapped with Mark Summers. And talking about certain sodas, Moxie is mentioned. Now, there is a small cult following that actually do like these things. I, I understand it's more up in the northern states. What exactly is Moxie? I mean... I used to know exactly what it was, but it's a it's a different kind of root. It, it's not licorice. It's not sarsaparilla. It's not. It's its own certain drink. And they and yes, this used to be marked as an elixir, and it's distinguishedly different. And it was created back in 1884. So the illustration of the guy pointing at you with a bottle of Moxie, you know, that has really not changed over the years. But I do like this, that you know this is a bottle of Moxie. Even you go to a store, and uh, if all the labels changed, you'd still, they would still keep this label after all these years. It's, it's, it's amazing. But otherwise, that's it. There is nothing on here, which is kind of disappointing. I kind of wish there was a blurb about Moxie so that people know exactly what, you're, what it is that they're drinking. I didn't like it over 10 years ago, and I'm probably not going to like it now, but I want it to be on Soda Chat just to get it over and done with. Because if a lot of you have watched and you've seen these things, and you're like, well, I don't want to try it. Let's see if some doofus will try it. Well, here's the doofus right here. This is not cola. This is not root beer. It's not sarsaparilla. Ugh. Oh, yeah. I can Okay, first of all, guys, I cannot ex describe this smell. It is its own unique smell. It is trying to be 
it's trying to be root beer. I, 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 I'm just, I'm just spitballing here. I, I, I can't. I can't go any further with the aroma. Do I like it? I mean, if it was a candle, you know, it wouldn't smell that bad. But it's okay. I mean, it's it's a meh. It's a meh. It's all that it is. But bottoms up. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. I thought I could do it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. It won't go away. It's, oh, God. It's coated in my whole mouth. Oh. Okay, so... I'm probably, I'm probably being a little bitch baby. Oh God, it it, it won't leave my mouth. Mm -mm. So that's gonna be one I'm not gonna be trying again. Oh dear God. At first when I tasted it, I was like, oh, okay. I mean, then it really explodes that flavor of whatever the hell it is. And it just won't leave. It's, it's, it's like completely coated my mouth and my throat. And I'm, oh God, this is just horrid. But a lot of people swear by this. They love this flavor. I I do not. Oh. No, 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 no. That, that. Okay, everybody, Soda Chat has done Moxie, you know. That's it. I'm never trying it again. I, I will I refuse to do it again. So no second sip with this. Um I am done. We're moving along to the sprites. Alright, best for last, guys. So we have our first sprite. A cherry Sprite. Lemon, lime, and cherry flavored soda with other natural flavors. And they do have a little cherry symbol right here. It's pretty cute. And of course, this is Coca-Cola. Please recycle. So let, let's have a little bit of a history lesson here. At least is what I can remember. Since I don't have a computer in front of me. Except for my phone. But, so when I was heading to Myrtle Beach with my dad, this was probably 2000 and three or four. So we'd always get drinks for the road. So I remember Sprite had come out with the remix, which were these, there were two of them. There were, there was a berry and there was like a mixed berry one. I can't remember. It had a very unique flavor. And someone on Facebook actually was like, please bring this one back. And I agree. Let's have, let's have it come back and just don't make them screw with the recipe like they did with Surge. Um, so, but it was not cherry. So the other one that we have is the uh, tropical mix. Is it remix? No, we I don't know yet. But let's go ahead and try the cherry. Now this is actually a great idea. I kind of was waiting for them to do cherry for the longest time for Sprite. Maybe they have, and I just haven't seen them. But of course, though, I did not see these in Florida. And when I was coming back into Florida, these were not there. I got these in South Carolina. So. And we had just stopped to get gas, and I was I went in, and I was just seeing what you know, maybe get a, like a a coke or something like that. But I saw these, and I was like, well, I need to get them for soda chat. I had already started buying the sodas, but yeah, I mean, a cherry flavored sprite. And I I love that they kept the clear sprite soda. I mean, that's I mean, like if you want a sprite to be cherry and it's just red, okay, it kinda, you know what that means then. But having it clear and cherry. I like that. I, I, I can't I can't describe it, but I love the way that that is. They just kept the tradition of the clear soda for Sprite. So, whoa, 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 whoa. don't don't pull over. I don't smell anything. So yeah, I'm getting Sprite. I'm getting gummy cherry aromas. Okay, so I'm I'm, ta I'm drinking Sprite with a hint of cherry. That's it. Uh, that's that's really it. Yeah. A little disappointed. I kind of wanted that cherry flavor to punch through the, the lemon and the lime. That's really hard to do sometimes. 
if you've ever cooked with or made something that has lemon and lime in it, it does kind of overpower stuff. But yeah, this is just disappointing. I'm just drinking Sprite. Hmm. Well, that's sad. But this is not taking me back to my childhood. I knew this one wasn't going to do that. I, I knew the cherry flavor was not what I remembered. But let's go ahead, finish this up, and then we're going to move on to the tropical mix. Now with the tropical mix, uh, pretty much lemon, lime, and tropical flavored soda with other natural flavors. Uh, product of Coca-Cola naturally. And they have the Sprite tropical mix, which I'm, I'm taking that that's a flower or some type of pineapple wedge and what looks like a, a nose. So that's about it. Let's go ahead and crack this one open. Being the last one, I'm really hoping this is what it used to taste like with the remixes, but uh, I don't know. I'm getting pineapple hints just by opening it. That cherry one I did, and that was disappointing. Ooh, that smells good. All right. Oh, my. Oh, that smells good. That smells very familiar to a remix. Um, all right. It's not as strong. The pineapple, if that is what it is, if it's pineapple and it's punching through, it's, it's more towards the end. I like it. It's not the remix. It's not. So, a little disappointing, but I, I'm going to be disappointed because it's not, it's not the remix. This is kind of what I was hoping for if it was not the remix. It's something different. It does not taste like Sprite with pineapple juice. And again, I love how they've kept the, 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 the clear liquid in this. This is actually really nice. I give Sprite, I give Coca-Cola a lot of, a lot of credit for that. But, I like it. I'm more disappointed. I'm actually more disappointed that these are not in Florida. I haven't seen them. So I'm lucky that we were able to stop and find these. That cherry one can go to hell. I, that, that was just horrid. That was actually something that was just more of a tease. This isn't bad. I would actually get another one of these. Um, this is definitely a summer drink. So overall... Yeah. For something that if I was taking on, on vacation with, maybe the cans. I would not probably want to have a bunch of bottles like this because I would never drink them, you know. The cans, small cans, like the, how they did with the Starlights, you know. Something that you can just, like, like a, a, a hundred, a hundred calorie drink. That's pretty much it. Yeah, Coca-Cola, I would kind of hope that you would bring back the remix because this is good, but bring back those and let people try them. Because you do have a lot of followers that remember that. And as a kid, I was really hurt that they were not made anymore. But of course, that's the way, it's, it's just the way that all things are. That's why that Surge and Vault are gone. And we used to complain about Vault being a really weak Surge. But then when they got rid of Vault and we had nothing and we were like, well, I kind of missed the flavor of Vault. But then they brought back that Surge that didn't taste like Surge. It was just pond scum, which is what Mountain Dew is. But getting off topic. So, yeah, this isn't bad. Um, I'm not disappointed. We actually had some hit and misses with this one, which was good. It wasn't all terrible. And I think there's a couple that I would definitely get again. But guys, that's um, our latest soda chat from going up from Florida through Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina, and back down again. So here is something that we had not tried yet, getting sodas from different states. Now, naturally, yes, Cracker Barrel carries a bunch of these all the time. Some of them they don't. 
like the sas like the uh, cream soda is not sold in Florida. I don't know where else you would be able to find that. Now you might find a Cracker Barrel. Like, oh, he's an idiot because they he didn't look in this spot. I'm not looking at every single Cracker Barrel. Now I may go to a Cracker Barrel just to see what they have. That's why that I wanted to do this show. But if you see these, try them. It, it, just because I don't like something does not mean that you will hate it too. I mean, I think there's some that I can't see people liking, like that bottle of Moxie, but that's just me. Well, guys, the, uh, that's it for this um, episode, so let's get to the rating system. All right, so let's start things off with our cotton candy soda. The appearance could have been better, too. The scent, I actually really liked it's kind of uh it's in almost a no man's territory six and as for the flavor itself i actually really liked it nine so overall five shirley temple all right so i did like the the colors and the illustrations on the bottle six the scent uh, it, it is what it is five and as for the flavor once again if you're into shirley temples maybe you'd like this five overall five the Whirly Pop Strawberry. Well, all right. The appearance, just like the other one, is not blowing me away. It's just a Lollipop 3. The scent, eh, it's really below. Not something I would want to smell for. And the flavor, it was just not holding up to what I would like in a strawberry soda, which I don't think I'll ever will like strawberry soda for. So overall, 3. Cream Soda by Sioux City. All right. So, the appearance on it, I love that how they change things up. It's not the same illustration throughout each bottle. This one being uh, the cowboy on a horse, six. Um, the scent, for being cream soda, I, I actually did like it. It was something that I would definitely like as a candle, if, other than, you know, other than just being a drink, seven. And the flavor blew me away. I... I think that's probably the best cream soda I've ever had. Nine. So, overall, seven. Key Lime Soda from Oso. <sighs> All right. So, the appearance, there's nothing on there. One. It's lucky it even got one. The scent itself isn't bad. It's just lemon lime to me. I could be wrong, but I know what I smell. Six. As for the flavor, um, just... Well, underwhelming. I think that something like that needs to be sour, pungent, wakes you up. But as a mixer, I think it would be fine for overall five. The 1869 root beer. Ugh. All right. Well, this one's going to be straight across the board. The appearance is pretty much nothing. Three. The scent was not appealing to me. Three. And the flavor... For being root beer, no, I do not like it. Three. So, overall, three. Double cola. So, being an old soda, I, I couldn't give it a lot of points for what it looks like now. So, the appearance is two. The, fla the scent itself is just a weak RC cola. In fact, I'd rather drink RC cola now that I think about it. So, I'm going to give this one a three. As for the flavor... Yeah, no, I am never drinking this again. I never have any intention to want to drink double cola again, so two. So, overall, two. A bottle of moxie. Gotta get a little moxie in you, kid. Put a little moxie in you. Alright, that's enough of that. So, uh, alright, so two for the appearance. That's never gonna change. It looks alright. The scent is just god-awful. It's lucky it didn't get a one, but I actually preferred it more over the flavor. So the scent being two, the flavor being one, something I will never, ever, ever, ever drink again. I've learned my lesson, guys. Overall, by La Moxie, you get a one. Sprite Cherry. Okay. So, yeah, this one is a little hard because... I wanted it to taste good, and I was more disappointed in it. The appearance is meh to me. It's Sprite. So you can you can either go to the Deed of Darkness and spruce your Sprite up to make it look kind of like Mountain Dew's crap. But no, you, you kept to it. You made it look like Sprite. So the clear soda I like. So I'm going to give you a five on that one. The... Scent, okay, yeah, you can smell Sprite with a hint of cherry. It's not overpowering, which 
I'm disappointed with. You, you need to go for it. If you're going to be in the devil's domain, go for it, four. As for the flavor, I'm tasting Sprite with a barrel. Maybe if you dropped a machine, a maraschino cherry in and then just took it right out. That's, that's pretty much what you're drinking, three. Overall, four. The Sprite Tropical Mix. Okay. Once again, the appearance is going to be five because it's clear they didn't overdo it, so it's just meh, and I'm, I'm kind of happy that they didn't mess with it. Uh, like I said, five for that one. Um, the scent was, the aroma is, is there. I actually do love it. Um, I, I'm fighting with myself on this one because I wanted it so badly to be the remix, and it's not. And the scent is good, but I, I'm giving this one a six. The flavor I do like. And it, it gets it out of the meh territory. It's in semi-meh. It's something that I would want again. But right now, no. A uh, six. So overall, five. And guys, thank you so much for listening to our latest soda chat. I will be back again with others if I go somewhere and find new sodas to try. But for now, this is Mr. D. And thank you for tuning in.